Right, hello YouTube. I'm going to try a different camera angle today. So, this is a drill that I've broken. I managed to throw the battery pack. And if I plug this in, you can see it's completely dead. And then what we're going to do is whack a meter on it and see what, uh, supply, what the output is. So we'll stick this on to, oh come on. One day I'll get around to fixing this. That'd be another video. And four volts. So that looks fairly dead. However, even if I charge this, it stays at four volts. So I'll put 12 volts across it and the rocket shoots straight up and then take it off and it's back to four volts again. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But if we take it apart, have a look now this is a very old NICAD pack so if you look here it's actually got 12 NICAD cells 14.4 volts my initial idea was to change it to lithium and then I just thought that's too much hassle trying to charge it because my dad's got the old charger for it and that, that isn't intelligent enough to charge lithium iron so I'll have a look inside see because I threw it see if anything broken or come off. Right, there's the old cells. The old tabs, they're still connected. Then under here, we can see some more cells with some more tabs. It looks like all this lot should, in theory. Oh, push out. Open. What you don't want to do now is get a metal screwdriver and try and poke things with it because this is a battery after all. That ain't going to come out, is it? Um, can I just. This board here, incidentally, is the battery. Checker. So the idea is you push the button and these lights light up to tell you what the status of the batteries are. And as you can see, they don't do anything. Um, but again, things aren't going particularly to plan. Now this was working fine until the point I threw it on the ground. It wasn't out of anger, it was just purely, I dropped it. But I dropped it in a way where I sort of drop kicked it. They're coming now, they are getting out. So just a bit more passive aggressive. And they are. Out. Right, so what we've got here. Tabs onto the cells there, tabs onto the that feeder there, looks good, and then you just got metal springs going to the contacts. So there's nothing clever about this at all. This wire here goes to a thermistor. So again, nothing clever. So that looked like that was a genuine. Point something volts per cell, whatever it was. Let's have a look there. Don't know if you can see that or not. I'll put it there. Four volts and dropping. Oh no, it's just bad contacts. So, are these cells truly? dead and dropping them has just happened to force them dead. I don't know this much about the chemistry of shocking uh, NICADs. 1.1 volt per cell there. What's this one? 1.2. So they look 
Okay, I'm assuming 1.2 should be the normal voltage of these cells. I'm just going around, just going to check every single cell now. These ones don't have a charge. Mm, some of these are reading exactly zero. Interesting. Right, what I'm going to do is this supply here, the light on it, has got 12 volts on it. I believe it's 12 volts. Ding! And ding! What is it? 14 volts. That'll do. And what happens if we just hold these onto the contacts? So effectively, we're charging the cells. We are drawing no current. So I was, like, I was expecting that to dip as the cells charge. But there is nothing. This suggests to me these cells have gone very, very badly wrong. Yeah, so I would have expected because these are this is currently limited to supply. These are thin cables that when you touch this you would have seen that voltage slowly ramp up, but it's almost instantly getting to 14. So these cells are probably bad. Dropping it, probably just a coincidence, or it's just time time for it to die. Um, what can we do? It's an old drill. Is it worth saving it, or is it worth making this lithium? Um, I don't know, to be honest. What would your thoughts be? Is that just e-waste? I mean, these cells are very old. No idea how old this pack is. Is that a date there? Seventh month of 2009? Does that sound about right off a NICAD? If that is true, this is 11 years old. Time for a new drill, I think. Possibly. Right, let me know if you like this format. Um, and if you do, I'll keep it. If you don't, I'll go back to how it was. But your feedback would be greatly appreciated. And. Uh, so hopefully see you again soon. Right, bye.